Hey guys, this is your friend Mainak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel and another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So friends, uh, about a record session on G plus 3 building design using Tecla Structural Designer, we have a doubt of one of our students. As you know, in this course, the complete record session of Tecla Structural Designer, that is all the steps of in Tecla Structural Designer and how to, you know, draw the final structural drawing in AutoCAD unmentioned. And uh, along with it uh, if you will be added to a whatsapp group in which you can ask any doubts so uh, today we'll solve one of the doubts of one of the students uh, that he wanted to uh, know how to apply uh, you know slope beam from a slab you also send the document to me to show the reference so we want to apply a slope beam like this so uh, let's uh, show him how to do that how to apply a slope beam so let's uh, take a new file We'll take a new file and uh, then we'll create some construction levels just to give an idea on how if you want to apply a slope beam and also a sloped uh, roof uh, for that purpose how to do that so we'll uh, do that in today's video so this has been created and uh, let's create some construction levels here so um, for going to the model and going to construction levels uh, we'll create some construction levels here uh, let's uh, insert level below it uh, that is the foundation level will not not concerned with that minus 1.2 meter let's uh, take this and above the this is the plinth level and above it will create some levels let's check out how many levels we'll we're going to create so uh, this base uh, level suppose we take this as a base level so this level let's uh, take this as three meters and one uh, that is the level below we can uh, take uh, we can take this uh, particular level below to the portion in which to which will apply the beams so we have to define that particular level also we can also work using the uh, construction lines uh, also so we have two options to do that so let's uh, try this uh, option of con using construction lines let's see how it is how feasible how feasible it is using the construction line so we'll apply a uh, three meters uh, you know span to it so we'll go we'll go you now insert above and we'll take on this uh, let's say uh, we'll take ssl and we'll go uh, to uh, the spacing of three meters here and uh, then above uh, and after that uh, three meter spacing so this will be the three meters uh, spacing which i have and again let's uh, take 1.5 meters above so i'll take another insert above and this time i'll take 1.5 meters for the portion above and for the uh, this this extension we can use uh, construction and we'll try to use some construction lines so we'll just uh, click on ok for now and uh, let's uh, this is the base level let's create a small uh, room mm, we want to create a small room let's uh, take a grid line of let's say four meters use f2 and four enter and then uh, go with parallel quick this uh, four meters and then uh, we can uh, simply join this two lines or else you can take this uh, parallel quick and then draw a line of 4 meters so like this we can draw and then uh, let's take a column of uh, the length of the column uh, will be up to uh, some uh, two columns let's take up to this uh, full level so two columns will take up to this full level and the two columns uh, remaining two columns the top level will do this as structure 1 there's a 3 meters see the structure in 3d so this is the difference in the two columns which you have uh, now if you want to join the beams we can uh, do that easily uh, from here to here we can join the beams like this uh, we can you know take the as you can see this point and we can take this point and join the beams so the beams will be like this as you can see but uh, what exactly uh, he wants is uh, some extension of the beams as well so actually it is taking uh, one point here so if you want the extension of the beams let's at, at a particular angle if you want the extension so for extending this particular beam let's 
frame here frame along this uh, portion and let's enter the frame so let's uh, use some construction lines here so we'll use some uh, parallel construction lines parallel quick just to go a little bit below so that this line meets and we'll draw one construction line here another construction line let's draw here now if we can check you can extend whether we can extend the points no still we need a parallel construction line here say up to how much we want we can take and this one we have already taken so now we want and apply a beam from here to here so let's delete this and then let's apply a beam from here to here now we have applied the beam which we wanted now let's check how it looks in the frame view so it, it is looking like this as you can see so the thing is uh, we have you know applied uh, this particular beam now if you want we can also copy this uh, simply using uh, some basic commands but let's use this and go to you know edit and then copy if you take one point this point and as you can see you can take a better point for this copying what are the points which are available uh, you can use this bottom base point copy okay there will let's copy the end so okay let's uh, go to the another view for copying or else we can uh, simply copy this is at this end and this will be at this end these are these are copied and then we can join these beams edit and then sorry model go to model and then join the beams here like this you can join these beams so my sloped roofs have been created and if you want you can apply a sloped plane you will go to model and uh, if you like if you select slab on beams now it, it can't be you know selected so if you just uh, select like this a slope plane if you want to make uh, you can do that you have made the slope plane now now if you want to apply the loads on this you can go to load let's uh, apply some impost loads or the roof loads say you'll apply the low roof loads you'll apply here area load and you can take any value and then apply the area load like this so like this you can apply the loads and well you can validate the model whether it's you know uh, proper or not as you can see diaphragms rigid diaphragms along on slope so that is saying the slab is sloping and set to rigid diagrams rigid diagrams cannot be defined on sloping slabs so you have to select the particular slab and uh, this diaphragm you can't make this rigid make this none and then you can build it and then we have a problem remember the intersection so this this problem we have for the member so the modeling is done but we have a problem of member intersection so if you just uh, divide it then uh, this problem can obviously be solved let's so let's select this middle point and let's take it to here okay 
now select this middle point and take it to here so as you can see two member intersection problem has been reduced this middle point single click and take it up to here again this middle point take it up to here so like this i think the member intersection problem is solved so the member intersection problem is solved and then you have the slab you have your loads that's what you want so in, in this way we can apply your particular uh, this sloped roof and uh, as you can see in this figure if you can check like this we can apply the sloped roof uh, in the figure which uh, you have given this sloped roof we can apply uh, like this and we can uh, design according to that so so now if you want to apply this portion also bit uh, you can extend this portion also bit far forward uh, we can also do that that is also you know the work of the construction lines uh, you can take uh, by the way uh, this extrusion which you have uh, you know pointing outwards but this is a particular uh, design software so you don't have you know control over uh, much over this uh, tapperings and all so so we're going to keep it like that because basically we're going to design the member here and after that after the design we can, while providing we can provide it like this so because it generally works on the center line so we shouldn't be much worried about that and if you want you can also uh, take some construction lines parallel construction lines and you know take some portion for this extra portion which you which you want to add like this uh, this extra portion of the beam if you want we can also uh, take the beam motion of beam so shape as you as you know the shape won't be uh, you know exactly like uh, what we want maybe but it can be done so beams from here to here so this beam has been done so uh, likewise you can just go to the structure and select this and then uh, go to edit and then uh, go to copy and then select this point and then we'll just copy this copy so as you can see this has been copied and if you just check the validate option it's very important so now you've got an error member interest member net may not be supported so this this is showing that the member may not be supported here because uh, this is actually uh, coming out of this intersection so uh, if we want uh, like like if you have this if you see this particular section so there will be there will be obviously uh, a, a, a slab here or there may be a beam going along this span also so this is not 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 an issue I guess so you can if you apply let's uh, apply a beam here so now we can check now it is okay so this uh, entire thing has been uh, done so like this you can model a sloped roof you can apply the slabs here also and uh, like this you can model the sloped roof i guess we have made uh, according to this so uh, you know you can uh, do some additions and alternations uh, like that but uh, this is the basic uh, way in which you can design the uh, you know sloped uh, beams in the tecla structural designer hope you found this video useful and uh, for more uh, you can uh, keep commenting and keep writing so friends that's all for today